Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Imuna Project. We here at the Imuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to information, education, inspiration, guidance, advice. And I mentioned in a previous uh, a video the words of the, the Tanakh, don't be too righteous. And uh, at first you might figure, well, isn't being like righteous you know, a good thing? Uh, shouldn't we be like tzaddikim, right, righteous people? Listen to the words, don't be too righteous. Someone who is overly righteous, someone uh, that can be a fault. Um, the holier than thou type, the overly righteous, um, that can be a flaw. And I'm uh, reminded of the words of Rabbi Yehel Michal, uh, the Magid of Zlotchov. And he said, when the Yetzirah, when the evil inclination, when the Yetzirah tries to tempt a man to sin, it tempts him to become all too righteous. We've discussed in previous videos how the Yetzirah rarely comes at you uh, head on, it comes at you from the side when you least expect it. And the Michael of Zlotchev says, one of the ways that the Yetzirah gets you, it tempts you. It tempts you to be overly righteous, sanctimonious, um, holier than now. That is not the way we should be. That, in many cases, turns people off of God. When someone is like that, many are tempted themselves to say, you know, if that's what religion does to you, if that's what believing in God to you, if that's what living a religious life does to you, I don't want any part of it. Don't be overly righteous. Don't be too righteous. Uh, we're going to be doing other uh, stories of the Magad of Zlotchov and other, uh, the early Hasidic masters. Uh, please come back. I hope you're finding them inspirational and of some use and some guidance. And until next time, on behalf of the Immuno Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.